Welcome back, Zero K fans! Another exhibition match. I'm still Shadow Fury CC3. I probably should have mentioned that in the last couple of videos, but yes, I remain who I am. Identity is a hard, tough thing to change. Now, we will have a game between Flipstep and Felthas. We saw Felthas earlier today, and you'll see him once again. We'll be on Zion, which I don't think I've actually showcased as a map much, if ever. I think maybe once. Very spider friendly map, as you can see, extremely hilly. It's just, it's hills all the way through. Both players are going for spiders. Failthos at the north, Flipstep at the south. Flipstep going for a very quick fleas into a red back from the looks of it. No, it's a venom, my mistake. Yellow's a bit hard to see in the build picture. And Failthos going for a few more venoms, a few fewer fleas. Looks like both players probably just gonna go for. F Actually, okay. Failthos probably gonna go for fleas map hack. Not sure about Flipstep, what he's gonna do. Let's see, the way it is sent out, yeah, both players are going for Flea as map hack. They want to get vision, and that's what they care about. Though Flipstep is being much more daring. We see he has almost gone into his opponent's base with his Flea Orders, while Failthos with his Flea Orders is on the edge to see what comes out, but not actually seeing what's inside the base. This is going to take a little bit of setup time for the players. I mean, they're going to have to build up. They're going to have to get their armies going. The Flea's probably not going to go to harass this... Opening base is very easy to defend. Like one lotus, this lotus here actually, will cover the entire thing. That'll handle everything, so not the biggest deal. Pretty easy to deal with. And looks like, okay, Failthos not Morphous Commander. Flipstep has not Morphous Commander. Both of them going for the Recon Com, which has, as has been mentioned, is the new meta. Recon Commander is the new support commander. It's the one to go for. However, Flipstep managing to actually get in on a nice angle. It looks like it's just out of range. Just out of range of the Lotus, and the Solar Collector blocks the Defender, able to get rid of a Metal Extractor. So Failthoss moving slightly behind because of that, however, he does have Weavers over to the Northwest to take some more Metal Extractors. And Flipstip, he's doing the same thing. A little bit slower though, he is going for more defenses before he gets the Metal Extractors to avoid getting raided out. Now that being said, it looks like Failthoss is not that far behind. It's really going to come down to, well... Venom battles, honestly. We'll see how many... What else they build. They go for Redbacks, go for Hermits. Neither player building much now, just going for their economy. Venom kindly protecting the Weaver here from the Flea. Though also protecting it from its own Lotus, which is a little bit redundant. However, with the Lotus up, that that Venom should no longer be that useful. However, Failthos doesn't have to worry about the Fleas too much. He never really did. I mean, you never really do, especially in a Spider Mirror matchup. What you have to worry about is everything else. Because in a spider mirror matchup, the damage the spiders deal is actually pretty meaningful. I mean, they're all kind of... Well, they're all glass. Whether or not their cannons kind of depends from unit to unit, but they're all fairly frail. But their main advantage being terrain is kind of nullified when both players have that advantage. It's not really an advantage anymore. It's just more of how they work. Bearing that in mind, Flipstip does have bit less of a view of the map. In fact, all of Flipstip's fleas, except for the ones over to the east side, have been destroyed, while Failthos' fleas still exist. So Failthos right now, with radar and line of sight along most of the south of the map, while Flipstip, he doesn't have any knowledge of what's going on inside of Failthos' base. All he knows is vaguely what's going on around this metal extractor, and that's it. Doesn't know what's going around along around the west, although he can assume, and you'll assume pretty correctly. And Failthos moving into harass a bit. Not a bad harassment, but not the best positioning. This place would have been a slightly more useful harassment point. I mean, is doing a great job defending everything. That should point out. He has built defenders around everything, or in this case, has a Venom near it. So there isn't much in the way of opening for fleas. However, Failthos, unfortunately, his defender on the wrong side of the Solar Collectors, his commander, however, on the right side. And that is... Well, that's one more flea. Flipstip only has one flea left that's scouting out, and it's in the Pretty bad position, honestly. But Flipstep is moving forward with his commander. While Failthos does upgrade his commander, I'm not sure he's going to upgrade it into. We shall see. Given the name, I'm guessing Nanolathe. And we'll find out when it's done. However, Redbacks are coming forward. Going to get rid of the last few fleas that might be sent up by Failthos. I think Failthos is just going to go for probably Venom. Maybe? Maybe Redback and Hermit? No, Recluse, actually. He's going for Recluses instead. This is going to be tricky. He has enough Venoms probably to block off the, rec the Redbacks, but... Double checking the range. Venoms have... No, Venoms have a shorter range. Range is 240 compared to 300. Venoms are going to be... 
kind of falling apart on that one. I mean, the thing is, they are... They're not that strong. Especially against red packs. I mean, red back weapon is... That's 180 damage a second. The Venom should be able to get one shot off. Not sure it's going to be enough to stun the red back, though. That's what it's going to come down to, is whether or not the red back can be stunned in time. And... Flipstep upgrading his commander as well, just in case, but Flipstep is going for a calm push. Going for Recluses as well, getting basically a Venom-supported, Recluse-supported calm push. Actually, Redback as well. Should not should not forget that. Failed us on the other hand. He is on the defensive right now. He does have his fleas around here. I'm a bit surprised he isn't sending Weavers around. Sort of take the metal Tractors and kind of pincer Flipstep a bit. It would give him an economic advantage. I mean, Flipstep is focused entirely on the east and center. Not folks in the west, and Felthos is aware of this. He has his fleas here, he knows where Flipstep has expanded to. But he's focused very much on the center, not focused very much on the edges. On the periphery, where he could get in and... Actually, for that matter, where... Okay, how many weavers are there? There are currently three weavers, only one of which was, belongs to Felthos. He really could use another one. And that one should go down along here, because he knows that it's pretty much open. And even if it isn't, that's still... I mean, okay, if it isn't, don't bother. But obviously, if it's not fully open. I mean, Flipstep... He actually right now does have radar. He would be aware of that happening. But... That's another thing. Feltas doesn't have... I mean, he should know where that radar is. Although, admittedly, the radar is up here. If Feltas does manage to break this, that is going to be a bit of a difference. And his Rexes aren't doing a bad job getting to the commander as well. The commander should be jumping away pretty soon, though. It is starting to run away. A stinger at the center of the map. To try to fully solidify map control while Flipstep does move a small contingent of his army over to the west side. Try to flank from there. But Flipstep's commander, one more shot. Flipstep's commander is going to die. He needs to be very careful about this. I think he might end up losing it. No! The Recluse goes down just barely to Flipstep's Recluses. And Flipstep... Does not have any auto repair systems other than the default auto repair. But Feltas is not in a good position to just finish off the commander. If he could, that would be huge. That would be really huge if he could finish it off. And actually, another Reckless is coming in. It's not getting to the commander, though. Feltas does not have vision on that. He does have radar of it, though. He knows where the commander is. I don't think he's going to go for it, though. I think he's just going to go for... Well, an attack on the west side. And this is what I was talking about. The Redbacks... Actually... No, they do get stunned too quickly. But enough recluses coming in. Are there enough recluses coming in? There really aren't. Hermits to try to support them for Felthos. He should be... Well... Should be quite worried about the fact that this Stinger is up. The Hermit's trying to do it. It can, but all it can really do at this point is tank shots. I wouldn't be surprised if Felthos decided to go for a bit of a fact switch right now. Like get some, Get a bomber or something. But that would be tricky at this point. It's hard to say at this point what we should do. He is harassing around the back, trying to get rid of a metal extractor. Which isn't doing a terrible job, but it won't last long. Flipstep finishes that off, stomps the harassment. Balthos continues to push around. He doesn't... Like I said, he could have pincered out this. It would have been hard, obviously, but he could have sort of pincered that out. Gone around the side. Admittedly, it's a lot of defenses, and spiders have a very hard time breaking that. But he needs his economy. He needs economy badly. And he's trying to get what he can from overdrive, but it's... Actually, no, he's not. He's not even trying for overdrive that hard. There are no geothermal vents in this plant, by, in this map, by the way, so he can't easily get that. But still, more solar plants. Just get some around the map and use that to overdrive, because at this point, he cannot easily get territory. He has some reclaim he could work with, but not a whole lot. He is pushing forward with his commander. He does have... He actually doesn't have the Nanolith. Auto repair and shotgun, so he's able to attack pretty well. Not sure about the name, though. He is going to be attacking pretty hard, but the defenders are quite the threat. Now, two auto repair systems and... Okay, there's the extra nano lathe. Attacking along the east side, so nice. Actually, pretty nice comp push. Gotta say, these defenders are still a bit of a threat, and I think that the commander is... Oh, okay, he's gotta get out of there. Wise choice there. Moves out of the way just to repair himself up a bit. Now, at the same time, Flipstep's commander is fully healed and is getting to level two as well. Flipstep, gotta say, though, he's got map control. He's taking out the... Oops. He is taking the west side here. And he's definitely taking the center. Felthos only has about a third of the map, and it's just his luck that that's not actually giving them that big of a resource disadvantage. However, Felthos, his commander, just now repairing up to full. And flips to his commander is... Oh, armor plates as well. So flips to his commander has a HP advantage. 
Not that it really matters, though. This reckless battle is where the focus is right now for both players. However, Feltos setting up... Okay, he's setting up a defender. Interesting choice. Setting up some defenders along this ridge. Consolidating into a pretty bad position, but he might... Well, if he harasses out from this, he might have a chance. Just hard for Spider to harass. You either need a dozen fleas and a lucky angle, or... About half a dozen venoms. And even then, the venoms aren't that fast, so it's hard to get around. Like, spiders do not have very good raiding options. That's the one thing. This terrain isn't a big problem for them, though I think that... Actually, Clokeybots don't do terribly on this terrain. Wait, Recluse... Here to support the defenders, and should be able to get rid of Feltos' commander without too much issue. The defenders now reloading for another salvo, and... A lot of them going down, but once again, Feltos' commander must escape. Getting out with half health, not a bad way, but still... His commander's really his only hope. That's all he has right now is his commander. If he loses that, he's way too behind in terms of units to be able to hold to pull back in. His commander, however, could get rid of these recluses pretty well, actually. And if he jumps into them, he could be able to get rid of them, just shocking them out before they manage to deal any damage. Flips up Morphing's commander to level 3. We've been seeing a lot of this recently, actually, in these games. It's morphed to level 3. I guess that column economy change really changed a lot, huh? But yes, the level 3 morph is coming for Flipstep, and another center battle which failed us really can't do much with. It's, this is quite the no-man's land. If someone actually does manage to consolidate this, manage to take this over, which probably will be Flipstep, that will be a nice source of metal. Very nice source of metal. Like, all this f glowing, flashing blue metal. All that to whoever takes this area. But Flipstep, I think he's going to be taking this game entirely. Felthos retreating a bit. Running away from the Rexuses, he could approach them directly. Now jumping towards them. Taking a bit of damage, but not very much. Like I said, he can just go for them directly. The Rexuses are going to fall back, but Flipstep's commander coming in to finish off Failthos's, and Failthos needs to jump away. He does not have the energy. That is... That's the commander out. That's another commander out. Well, I shouldn't say another one, because that's across all the games. That is Failthos's commander out, and I think he's going to throw in the towel. He had very little energy. Besides that... He didn't have E-Cell, but he didn't have a lot of energy either, and now all he has is a... Well, these wind generators, which have just stopped really working. And a few metal extractors, which are all largely dead. Like three metal extractors, or no, five metal extractors. He has to have at least five. That is... This is game. Flipstep, I mean, Flipstep had game when he got the center of the map, pretty much, but Feltas had a bit of a chance to go along the side and flank a bit. It's hard with spiders, but it was a bit of a chance. An inkling of a chance, but he didn't manage to do it, and at this point, Flipstep has the game. So, just waiting for Failthos to realize this, and once that occurs, we have game! That's it! So, thanks... I'm oh, sorry, I hope you enjoyed that. I'm not sure if I'm gonna... I think this is gonna be the last game for tonight. Yeah, I believe this shall be the last... Or not tonight, it's middle of the afternoon. What am I saying? But, I think this is gonna be the last game. I might... No, I think I'll do another. Let's see what else there is. So we'll be back in just a moment with with the last game for tonight. So stay tuned.